of dynamic podcast channel today i would like to talk about homogenization what is exactly homogen homogenization in fact uh, it's a, any of several processes used to make a mixture of two mutually non-soluble liquids the same throughout this is achieved by turning one of the liquids into a state consisting of extremely small particles distributed uniformly throughout the other liquid a typical example is the homogenization of milk where the milk fat globules are reduced in size and dispersed uniformly through the rest of the milk as you see in this uh, picture the molecules here it can be in the milk for example there these are these can be fat molecules so this comes with a pressure back pressure they enter this nozzle and here because of the high pressure these molecules break down to smaller um, pieces and this has uh, this process is so called homogenization and these valves usually are under a huge pressure but why uh, this uh, process is important what is the reason so as you see in this picture there is a, this part is so called seat this part is called impact ring and this part is called valve and there are different type of valve it can be puppet valve or it can ball valve and uh, also other type but the amount of flow that is going to pass the liquid that is going to pass through this uh, passage and also the pressure uh, are the important uh, parameters that can define the uh, shape and structure of this of this valve and this uh, mechanical component i would like now to review two uh, products that are uh, produced one by a german company and the other one by italian company the first one the german company so-called hsc homogenizer or homogenizer that is a part of Cronus company uh, they actually produce a high quality homogenizer and uh, based on the information that they have provided um, it can produce between 10 to 60,000 liter per hour and the pressure is changing between 100 to 1,500 bar which is huge and it's usually like that when it goes to the higher pressure the lower uh, flow rate we will have which makes sense the technology uh, which as you see in this picture it's an old one so they have worked on this machine for many years but uh, in fact they it's used or it basically work based on high pressure homogen homogenizer with the help of um, piston pumps in fact the piston pumps in this uh, homogenizer machines are the key or the heart of these machines so they claim that the uh, spare parts and replacing is very easy um, it's uh, in fact uh, flexible the, the price is uh, reasonable um, in fact quality service and this after after say service are uh, here is raised to be uh, quite good but we don't want to go that so this uh, company was uh, founded in 2000 and it's in Dassault 
city. It's the north of Germany. And from 2014, it's a part of the Cronus company. So homogenizer can work in different branches, like in a food industry, in pharma and cosmetic and in chemistry, ke chemical industry. As we know, the most famous one in food industry is for the milk, um, can be for yogurt, for the cream, for again milk, for juices, for the baby uh, milk and etc. The for pharma can be for um, Lippen or uh, Lippenstuck, uh, they can be for um, artificial colors and etc. And for chemical industry, also they can be for the lubricants, for emulsions, for uh, colors, latex, and etc. So these are the application of homogenizers. So as we said, the, the flow rate is between 10, 10 to 60,000 liter per hour. This is the capacity of this machine. And as you see in this table, uh, when you reach to, to the pressure of 1,500, the, the amount of flow rate is reduced to the minimum 10 liter per hour. And the, in fact, the uh, power it's about 1.1 kilowatt and when it goes to the higher flow rate to 60,000 the pressure must drops to 150 bar but uh, the power um, consumption increases to 355 kilowatt this is a kind of schematic or term for, from this valve how it works later on I will show you there are different type of valve the ball valve or the puppet valve and this is also another schematic the flow the main flow or inlet is from this side and then they will go through this uh, uh, valve systems to get pressurized and here is a very interesting schematic that you see that the structure of the fluid before going under the pressure and after going under pressure you see that the molecules are now break, broken to small pieces and yes you see that the big molecules enters and because of the pressure here they will be uh, in fact divided or converted to the small particles and from this part you see that there is a pneumatic or hydraulic pressure on the valve that keeps it uh, in place the design of these valves I think is quite high tech because they need to be easily repaired and also they need to be tolerant for high pressure so uh, it makes sense that they need to be high quality uh, to be designed and manufactured with high quality. So as I said 150 kilowatt about 200 horsepower is uh, the compact uh, in fact uh, required power power for the service and they claim that they are using the internal lubricants and they don't use any water for cooling system probably they will use the oil and there is no other attachment it's hygienic design they use pneumatic for uh, as the uh, for the for the for the uh, valve uh, settings and uh, they also claim it is quite um, noiseless um, so yeah this is also a block of the flow and also the valves how well, it's of course it's not so um, clear explained this is the uh, cabinet electrical cabinet I see the Pili PLC here, a bunch of other uh, electrical component here probably to convert the different uh, voltage and safeties and etc. Switches and other switches. Um, this is also they use Siemens for the 
uh, control HMIs as well and probably Alan Bradley as a, um, a PLC but I, I honestly I see here this one is uh, S1200 uh, the Z Siemens PLC but maybe they actually uh, are working with uh, Alan Bradley as well um, yes and this one is a damper there's a pulse damper this is probably needed to kind of re release the pressure too much pressure from the wall and they use silicon based material to do the damping uh, and another important thing is that these machines are really easily washable so for the maintenance and clear cleaning uh, they are easy to be cleaned and these are some small mechanical parts that are easy easily to be replaced so this was one of the um, components uh, one of the machines that I would like to uh, talk about that the another one which is uh, another uh, Italian company so called Kia I think uh, is uh, Italian homogenizer they also claim uh, that uh, their machines are quite uh, capable they will can uh, have 80,000 liters per hour at 120 bar, which is like 20,000 liters more than the uh, previous uh, company. Um, they also claim the power and versatility, efficiency, safety, and reliability, and user friendliness. And um, yeah. This is Gia, uh, the homogenizer. They claim that the maintenance is very easy. And we'll go through this uh, article to see how it goes. So as this, as again, the pressure 120 bar, the uh, flow rate is about 80,000. And when it goes to the higher bar, it will reach to, when it reach to 1,500 bar, it, the flow rate is about 5000 which is still quite uh, bigger uh, than the um, HST machine uh, the, the, the power of the watt is about uh, consumption power is about 315 kilowatt um, they also claim for food machinery for pharma um to be used um, for diaries and um, yeah uh, they claim to use nano valve reduced energy consumption it's capable at a 30 percent lower homogenizing pressure to improve the degree of homogen homogenization and uh, NISO pure reduced energy and water consumption in aseptic production compared to the standard system reduces water uh, so they claim seven mm, seven percent more efficient safety and reliability are taken into consideration and um, easily accessibility to the sides and to the chains and to the motors because these are the parts that are usually under pressure and needs to be uh, fixed or repaired constantly what uh, I would like to at the end to watch one video together I think it can be is from another company SPX flow and this SPX flow is in fact uh, they have a very nice uh, machine I would like to wash it together SPX Flow's APV brand has been a pioneer in the field of homogenization with its durable Gaulin and Rani products for over 100 years. Homogenization ensures optimal blending of ingredients in a wide variety of products, especially in dairy where properly mixing high-fat cream with low-fat milk prevents separation and extends shelf life. The basic components of a homogenizer include a positive displacement pump, 
and a homogenizing valve assembly. The pump forces the product under pressure through a small adjustable gap between the valve seat and the valve, causing turbulence and intense mixing. SPX Flow's extensive experience with valve functionality and seal durability enables an optimum homogenizing valve selection for your application requirements. Compared to conventional designs, our patented micro-gap valve assembly requires less operating pressure to achieve the desired particle size, delivering increased product stability while saving energy and reducing maintenance costs. The micro-gap technology has been proven to reduce energy costs by up to 25% while achieving the desired product quality. SPX Flow's hydraulic valve actuation technology determines homogenization pressures. Our valves are known for their durability, accuracy, and ease of operation, and are in use in thousands of processing systems worldwide. The power end of APV Gallen and Rani homogenizers are engineered for minimal noise and vibration to maintain optimal operating efficiency. The Gallen and Rani machines differ in pressure capabilities at the liquid end. Gallen models feature a mono-block design with a maximum operating pressure of 600 bar, while Rani models feature a three-piece valve housing with a maximum operating pressure of 1500 bar. SPX flow homogenizers are used in a wide range of applications. Our process experts can assist you in the development of new products or with making improvements to existing ones with better taste, longer shelf life, improved consistency, and enhanced consumer appeal. So, as uh, we uh, saw together, uh, this is the end of this uh, episode. Uh, we kind of compare these three countries companies together and um, kind of like uh, realize that what exactly homogeneiz homogenization happens and what exactly uh, it does to the liquid why it is needed as I said the main reason is that uh, the homogenization makes the uh, um, particles uh, smaller and this uh, prolong the life um, of the product on the shelf. So it is a very uh, important process that uh, it's needed to be done in lots of um, industries as uh, in beverage and food, cosmetic, pharma and chemical. I hope you like this um, episode and see you in the next episode. Thank you.